special place. Regina is more than just an educational experience. It's about true community. We love the people. We love the students. We love their families. We love the staff. It's just very friendly, very welcoming. And everyone shares the values of faith, family, and education. This is our home to develop academically. The school is doing everything they can to help us achieve. To grow spiritually. It's like I'm one with God. To live energetically. Regina education has definitely changed my life. I wake up every morning and I am excited to go to school because I get to go to school with my best friends, surrounded by teachers that love me. It's just an awesome place to be. Students today, leaders tomorrow, carrying on the faith strengthening and serving our community. We would like to mold leadership skills in all of our students. We would like to, them to uh, be uh, ambassadors for our school and our community. We want the kids to walk through that door knowing that they're going to get a great Catholic faith-based education. The Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Everyone here just truly cares about the students and it shows that we feel like they're truly educating the whole child. Proud of where we are, joyfully optimistic about where we can be. It is a wonderful place to watch children grow, and it is a privilege for us to watch them be able to grow and to find young adults. Regina Catholic Education Center, serving the Iowa City Coralville area with faith-based education since 1958. We've got very good public schools that we need an option for those that, that want a faith-based education. And I think Iowa City deserves that, and we want to make sure that, that we're here well into the future. The foundation, education, and core values of Regina are stronger than ever, but our campus is badly in need of structural updates and improvements. Regina was established in 1958, and since then, times have changed, and our building is tired, and our kids are not, and they deserve the best, and they get the best from their teachers, they get the best from the Regina staff, but there's a few things we need to do around here to make it better. That's why we're launching the Pride in Our Past, Building Our Future Capital Campaign, an effort that will allow us to secure our status as the area's premier pre-K through 12 Catholic school. I see this as a way of putting our, our best foot forward and providing the kind of facilities that are going to be friendly environmental uh, buildings that reflect the quality of education that, that our students are receiving and in an environment that is safe and sound. There's several reasons why this is the time for a campaign. It's the age of our facility, there are some things in the facility that need upgrading. Uh, some of the, the features go back to 1957 and 8 when the building was built. Some of the uh, things have just become outdated and need to, to be improved and brought up to speed. It's like a family home. It's full of memories and provides good things, but every once in a while you need to update it. This isn't so much of a, a wish list campaign. It's, these are needs and real needs at our school to make this uh, a better educational environment for our students. This is where the impact of your investment begins, an additional entrance and exit off First Avenue, a need for more than a decade and a necessity before we can address any physical needs on campus. We're very excited about the prospect of having the second entrance on First Avenue for so many reasons, for traffic flow, and then I understand it will just make it safer for access for emergency vehicles, that sort of thing, but that is a definite need. It's truly a safety issue. I've been around a long time, and that particular problem of an exit, another entrance and exit to Regina, you know, finally we want to get it done. From there, pride in our past building our future will help fund a slate of critical physical updates. Key among them, a new educational wing that will encompass seven new classrooms, flex space, a collaborative teaching space, and a secure new entrance to the back of the school. We're growing in our enrollment, which is a really exciting thing to happen at Regina. And as we grow, we have outgrown some of our space and we need more classrooms. By that expansion, we're able to better serve the needs of Iowa City, Corville, and our surrounding areas for families who really need and want a place where their child feels safe and nurtured and is growing. 
it seems only appropriate that we need to, to get our students those great spaces so they can learn, whether it's STEM education programs or whether it's the additional high school and elementary spaces that get remodeled. Here's the copper. Ooh. Plans for the educational wing also include a new science lab. Having better science facilities is going to help our kids strengthen their science background, become better overall learners, be stronger in the sciences. If we can strengthen them at this level so that they're better prepared for the next level, that's only going to benefit them in the long run. The science, uh, engineering, technology, the STEM education field is the fastest growing field in the world right now and that's where all the jobs are. That's where a lot of these kids' futures are going to be and to have a new lab allows us to provide more opportunities for them to enhance that science education, that engineering education and having the technology to do that is what's going to make our, our children more competitive when they leave here to go to college. Equally exciting, the new addition will allow us to expand our early childhood center and ensure Regina continues to thrive for years to come. It will give us a unique ability to cement and nurture more Regina families into the Regina tradition. It will add more classrooms so we can enroll more children. It will eliminate my pre-K AM waiting list class, which I've had for four years. We retain about 80% of the kids that go to the pre-K school. And so it's a great program, but it is also full. So we need to grow that. The key to building Regina's future is to get more students in the door. And to do that, we need to improve our facilities. Pride in our past, building our future, also holds the promise of much needed renovations to the boys' and girls' locker rooms and bathrooms. I think that's going to be really, really important because right now if you walk in here and you look at this locker room after school, when kids are getting ready, you could see what a, what a travesty it is. It's just, it's just a shame and it's been like that for so many years and we really need to upgrade and do something better for our students. A complete repair of the gym roof, that's also covered. Whenever it rains, we have to check the gym to make sure that, you know, where are the leaks at so we can get the buckets or the towels down and especially now with our redone gym floor so it's not getting damaged you know we spent all this money fixing it and now we got rain coming in and pulling up on the floor because we have holes in our roof. Security is another top campaign priority funding upgrades to our security intercom system and the installation of internal and external cameras. The parking lot will also be enhanced. It's been more than 15 years since we repaved the lot and temporary fixes are no longer sufficient. We will resurface the front parking lot and almost double its size by adding 75 spaces. These items are things we've been hearing about uh, for a long time that are needed at the school. And I think the nice thing that we've done is we have went out and we have hit the hot button items. We went out and we asked the community, you know, what's important to you? It's going to make a difference. It's going to help a lot of, a lot of students at Regina. It's going to help the community. The campaign will also help us honor the sacrifices of those who came before us while we continue to meet the physical and educational needs of current and future students. We stand on the shoulders of those that came before, the generous people that came before us, and now it's our turn. We're called to do our part and to share from the abundance that we have received, and what better way than investing in Catholic education. Our request is that every family will pray for the success of this campaign and participate as generously as they can. Regina is a blessing in so many lives and it has such an impact on the future of these children. Everyone can make a difference, whether it's a small donation or a large donation. When we come together, we can do great things. It epitomizes what we're trying to accomplish via making sure that we can be proud of what we've done, but at the same time recognize that we need to move forward. I think it's exciting just from the standpoint of you see a school that's committed to long-term growth, you see a school that's going to be committed to being here for the long term, serve this community for years to come. Regina Catholic Education Center. Pride in our past, building our future. For the students of today and the leaders of tomorrow, for generations to come.